What's going on, Clitch? What? What up, what up, what up? It's your boy Dup. It's your boy Ross. We in the Clitch, baby. Hey. Back to you, ladies and gentlemen, the video that you feel me. All right, we're going to check out Drake's 10 most lethal subliminal disses explained. Now, we know uh, Drake received yeah. some shots. Uh, him and uh, J. Cole recently received some shots on, uh, on uh, what's that track? Like That? Yeah. Phenomenal track. From Beat the Metro is and Future album. Yeah, yeah. Phenomenal track. Shit is Every time I hear anyone like, I mean, honestly, I see that all the time, like with people and like their reels. That's the song, the one song I see all the time. So obviously, there's been some history, you know what I'm saying, with Drake and Kendrick and other artists as well. He has sent plenty of sublims to plenty different artists. So it's going to be very interesting to go back down memory lane. Do I think he will respond to Kendrick? Probably in another, in another song. And he'll probably send a sublim, which I really hope he doesn't. I, I don't think he. I, I wouldn't send a sublim before I respond, I unless know. unless it's like a banger banger one. Mm -hmm. And you you can't send no subliminal though. You need to address who you addressing. Yeah, and I I would prefer he just when it. I mean, we all kind of know what who Kendrick was talking about, but they've been sending sublims to each other for years, actually. So now it's getting like it's yeah, getting it's, closer. To, yeah, yeah, yeah. What so, we trying to be? So, hey, like I told you, bro, I'd wait if I'm him. This one of them, you got to be off tour type situation. I need to be able right. to focus in on you the whole time. So, let's check this out, man. All right, let's see what uh, some of these uh, sublims. Sneak this has be become here. synonymous in hip hop. Mm. Rather than call your let's opponent out directly, do it in a slick way to get your message across. MCs like Jay Z truly mastered the art of doing this. And he would influence upcoming rappers like Drake. Mm -hmm. And that's what this video is about. We're going to take 10 sneak disses from Drake and we're going to break them down. Track one, Do Not Disturb. Mm -hmm. You overnight celebrity, you one day star. I swear I told you that I'm in this bitch for eternity. Mm -hmm. In this one, Drake takes a shot at fellow Toronto overnight artist Tory Lanez. Yep. And for such few words, there's a lot packed into this. Drake starts out by calling Tory an overnight celebrity alluding to the fact that Tory's career was... And remember, they they had their issue early, early on. Like early on, yeah, and then they finally, uh, you know, kind of pieced up, so... They had to really pass it just up. getting started. He then calls Tory a one-day star, and not only is Tory's government name Daystar Peterson, but he also had a track called One Day. Mm -hmm. Drake then puts great emphasis on the words, I told you, which was the name of Tory's debut album. Now, the reason why Drake dissed him in the first place was all brought on by Tory himself. Tory spent a good portion of his career begging for Drake's attention, and when he didn't get it, he started dissing. Now, there's a yeah. good chance that Drake <laughs> never expected Tory's career to get as big as it and did. And that's what people do to and get And he certainly didn't want to shine popular, anyway. what? That's what people do to get popular. Yeah. Yeah, that's, that's really what it was. You know, they both... Uh, you know, both, you know, from Toronto or whatnot. So, you know, he was always trying to get Drake's attention and Drake, you, you know how Drake is. Drake yeah. is only going to show you really attention if you, like you buzzing, you got a buzz, then he'll show you some attention. That's Somebody usually what it is. He took the anger out on me. All right, we're going to, yeah, I forget I what I was even talking about. Let's just get right into it, man. He sort of light on his career. So he went with a subliminal shot instead. Track two, no lie. Oh, that look like what's the name? Chances are it is what's the name. In this one, Drake had a subliminal shot for none other than Rihanna. Yep, remember this. Right off rip, Drake makes reference to their collaborative track, What's My Name. He continues on to say that she was basically a hit and run, fucking Chuck type of girl. Chances are if she was acting up, then I fucked her once and never fucked again. Drake then makes the reference that he doesn't really care about the quality of her star power, and that in his eyes, she's just a regular chick. He Damn. gets this across by pointing out that even though she has Grammys, which she had five at the time, he wasn't really that impressed. She could have a Grammy, I still treat ass like a nominee. A nominee yeah. He ends Damn. off the line by saying that fucking her one time was more than enough for him. Fine with me. Need to know what that pussy like, so one time is fine with me. Man, we know. It's okay, Drake. We know, bro. 
It, we know, bro. It's okay. You you don't want to admit it, but at that time, I mean, he sent some disses to ASAP recently. Yeah, <laughs> he recently sent some dis this is to ASAP <laughs> over that shit, bro. But wasn't ASAP have an issue with him too? Or I, I I'm not sure, but you know what I'm saying. He he recently sent some disses to ASAP. <laughs> this nigga I'm not Drake, I'm not understanding bro. what all the damn dissing and stuff is going on. About. This nigga Drake, it's Rihanna, bro. She put it on him one time. He couldn't right. let it go. I need it. I need, need it. <laughs> Which is a huge crock of shit because Drake is still to this day making records about Rihanna like a decade later. Yeah. Track three, Six God. You was popping back when I should wear you chain. Goddamn, Goddamn you chain. chain. In this one, Drake takes a shot at Southern OG Ludacris. Mm -hmm. Drake's tension with Luda goes way back to 2009 yep. when Drake claimed yeah, that Ludacris was Ludacris. stealing flows. On Car Six God, Drake alludes losing. to the fact that Ludacris has fallen off and hasn't been seen much since his feature on Usher's <laughs> big track, Yeah. So give me the rhythm and it'll be off with their clothes. Track four, I'm on one. I'm just feeling like oh, this is a lot of... Hey, hold on. Now, this track right here... Mm -hmm. This track right here was it, fam. All I can run money yeah, nah, this, was, from. this was the song for that year, bro. Man, bro, people this, was... This was the song for that year, for sure. 2011, Kanye and Jay Z announced that they were doing a joint album called Watch the Throne. Classic Drake album. seemed to believe that they stole that idea as there were plans made for a joint Drake and Lil Wayne project. You know, that, we still got to do that album. Yes, yes, you still got to do that. Some album. other guys are coming out of that album, too. There's two other guys that are coming out. Okay. Huh. Two other rappers that are coming out of an album together. <laughs> I don't know where they got that idea, but. Look, Drake. I'm sorry to burst your bubble, bro, but you weren't the first person to come up with the idea of a fucking joint album. This has been a concept in music for a really long time now. In the line, Drake sends a shot at Jay-Z and Kanye to state that the throne is his for the taking and that he's coming for the number one spot. I respect it because he did what he said he was going to do. I yeah. mean, in my opinion, at one point, Drake did take the throne. He, he did have it. Mm -hmm. Track five, Club Paradise. Couple artists got words for me. That's never fun. Yeah. They say it's on when they see me that they don't ever come. This line is directed at Philly legend Beanie Siegel. Beanie felt mm -hmm. like Jay Z was sending shots on Drake's record "Light Me Up" and threatened to slap Drake when he saw him. <laughs> On Drake and them records, and I'ma tell y'all a little fucking something. Y'all keep letting that nigga get on y'all records and pop shit. I'ma start coming at y'all little niggas. Smack the shit out of Drake, bitch ass. <laughs> all y'all niggas. Uh, In the line, Drake states that most of these rappers are full of shit. They talk a big game, but they have more bark than bite. I'm never scared. They never real. I never run. When all is said and done, more is always said and done. Drake claims that he's not afraid of Beanie's threats and claims that Beanie is just talking and really won't do shit. I mean, if there's one rapper who's going to, if he's got the opportunity to slap the shit out of you and he's going to do it, it'd be Beanie Siegel. You gotta get Track one six, first. draft day. <laughs> just hits, no misses. That's for the married folks. In this one, Drake takes a shot at Jay-Z. At the time, Drake had some disrespectful comments about Hove in a Rolling Stone interview. It's like Hove can't drop bars these days without at least four art references. I'd love to collect art at some point, but I think the whole rap art world thing is getting kind of corny. And it was due to those remarks that Jay-Z dropped the freestyle dissing Drake. Sorry, Mr. Drizzy, put so much out talk. Silly yeah. me rapping about shit that I really bought. Uh -huh. So I don't know if you caught that, but he calls him Silly Mrs. Me. Drizzy. Yeah, remember, and that's what Drake alluded to on draft brother. day when he says just hits no misses. That's for the married folk. At the time, Hove was getting a lot of mixed reviews on his Magna Carta album. <laughs> yep. A lot of people didn't like it. After that album, many people were saying that it was time for Jay-Z to retire. And Drake makes it clear that he doesn't have any issues making hits. This is honestly the coolest thing that I've received right, get into his on this channel. Exter sent me their Parliament head. wallet in Savannah Brown. The Exter will be in the description of this video. And thanks to Exter again for sponsoring my channel. 
Track 7, 6 p.m. in oh. New York. It's so childish calling my name on a world stage. You need to act, act your age, age and not your girl's age. age. Yep. This line is directed at Tyga yep. and his relationship <laughs> with his much younger girlfriend, Kylie. I ain't gonna lie to you. Because she was one, pretty young. Yeah, that one line, that was it. Yeah, bro. Tyga was, he was cooked. <laughs> That was just a passing bar, and then that was it. You need to act your age and not your girl's age. I I'm hate like, some oh. niggas really that be discussing me a lot about how we need protection from those pregnant women. Damn, it was somewhere in that one. I forgot the bar. But yeah. <laughs> Appreciate you, J-Cap, with the five uh, gifted tears, man. Thank we you did so let Tiger get away with that, too, though. <laughs> On the cool, because that shit was wild, She was bro. pretty young, fam. She was young, bro. Lee Jenner. In a Vibe magazine, Tyga took shots at Drake, saying, I don't really get along with Drake. I don't like Drake as a person. He's just fake to me. Yep. And this will be what Drake meant when he said, call him my name on the world stage. stage. Yeah. Track 8, Summer 16. This line is another shot at Tory Lanez, who had yeah. released a mixtape called The New Toronto. Mm -hmm. Tory would then remix Drake's song, Controller, and in terms of creating a really dope Caribbean style song, he did a far better job with this beat than Drake. Nah, he did kill it though, bro. bro. Tori talented, Drake bro. seemingly oh, wasn't in. Tori, Tori is talented, bro. Super like, fucking talented, bro. Like, super talented, bro. Some people just have the gift, fam. And yeah, it just sucks that whole. Situation, man. You just gotta, yeah, that whole situation. Got to get yourself in better situations, bro. But we don't know. But yeah. regardless, impressed with Tory's use of the beat, and while performing <laughs> "Summer 16" at a live show, he changed the lyrics to that line to make it even more obvious. So oh. instead of going mm. "All you boys in the new Toronto," he switches it to "All you boys oh. doing fake oh. controller." Oh. Track nine can't have everything. Finally got my mind in a free state. Niggas try to serve me up a cheesesteak. I gave him back a clean thing. Hey, long that hoe went hard. That song. That's yeah, it, it was hard, it was uh bro. all like, your niggas fair whatever you said, bro. That niggas was cooking, bro. It was the offbeat rap. Yeah, that shit. That was hard. getting to me, but when that beat started to go. Yeah, that shit. That shit went hard, bro. After Drake put Meek in his place with back to back. The subliminal shots continued, and on this track, he dishes out another one. Mm -hmm. He starts out the line by saying that he's finally got his mind in a free state, which is a reference to Meek's state of Philadelphia, which was the first state to pass a law that abolished slavery. He then mentions how dudes oh, tried cooking. to serve him up a cheesesteak, which is obviously a well-known Philadelphia sandwich. <laughs> he ends off the line to say that he gave him back a clean plate, Alluding to how he ate Meek alive when it came to this beef. Y'all dudes is arrogant. Y'all stay at the Sheridan. Arrogant. Yeah. Oh, that shit's embarrassing. embarrassing. Yeah, no, that shit went hard. Yeah, I, ain't bro. Gonna, I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. That, that shit that shit went hard, bro. Oh yeah. <laughs> Drake Even he's smiling now. Record. Yeah. Track 10 used to. Real quick, man. You couldn't have hated that. Let's be real, nigga. You couldn't have made it that. <laughs> This line is a shot for none other than P. Diddy. Oh, Diddy. Boy. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> How things have come full. <laughs> no Diddy, man. No Diddy. He <laughs> was pissed off over the 0 to 100 beat and claimed that he had it first and that Drake stole it. The whole thing allegedly even sparked a scuffle between the two outside of a nightclub in Miami. Drake starts off the line by saying real quick, which is a reference to the zero to 100 track. We go zero to 100 nigga real quick. Drake goes on to say you couldn't have hated that, alluding to how he took the beat and made it a banger. He ends off the line to say, let's be real, you couldn't have made it that, alluding to how if P Diddy had the beat, it would have basically went to waste as there's no way he could have made an anthem like Drake did. Yeah, and look, yeah. I know there's a lot more subliminals to cover, but we Wait, already did the he... Kendrick video with all those disses. Then there's the Pusha shit, like which tons of good subliminals. But again, so many people have covered that on YouTube. I don't think I'm going to do it because I like to try and find topics that are less common. Like in, in this mm -hmm. case, I feel like a lot of these subliminals I just showed you guys are less common ones than 
what's on YouTube. The guy did a good job. He did. He did a good job with that. He shot at him so much. Good to see it edited correctly. Hey, what's the dirt? Yeah. Bitch, I'm about to blow. Hey, nah, this was tough. This was yeah. tough, bro. I like this video. Definitely gonna go ahead and give the homie a like because this is. He got some other ones. Y'all definitely go check out. They're they're much longer. What's where he's the talking dirt? about uh talking about um kendrick and drake their subliminals over the years it's like 30 plus minutes long mm -hmm. he got something with uh j cole and kendrick their subliminals they've sent like he gets into like you know just the bars and the the rap beefs that we've seen over the years so definitely go show him some love what's the dirt is the youtube channel i yeah, already man. gave him a like man. The, link was, at, the link will be at the end of the video i mean the bottom of the video in yeah, the yeah, description so. uh to the video the actual mm -hmm. so Y'all go to it and go hit him with a subscription and a like as well. Sure. Uh, that was dope, man. He, he put some homework in uh, mm -hmm. finding the background to a lot of these yeah. beefs and these meaning behind these bars. But if y'all enjoyed yeah. it, y'all already know what to do. Make sure to like, subscribe. Let us know what else you want us to check out. Or which one was your favorite bar from mm -hmm. Drake, depending on who he was dissing. Was it someone that wasn't on the list? Let yeah. us know in the comments. Continue to spread love, be love. Catch y'all on the next one. Peace out. Already. This is from Houston. If you got a problem, then we got the solutions. And there's no illusion. I made this shit happen. I'm living life lucid. I'm switching my strategies. Now they hate on me because I'm causing casualties. But why are they after me? Deep inside, they know they can't handle half of me.